Well, ahoy hoy and welcome back to the channel. My name is George and today's video is a bit of a funny one. I wasn't really sure what video to make today. I was trying to think of different topics and talk about, you know, I'd show my first comedy performance. But then I went and checked the news in a local area. For those who don't know, I live in Brighton. And this is a bit of a hot spot now for YouTubers. You know, it's really London and then Brighton. There's a lot where the main ones are. And then I came across this headline. Popular YouTuber announces he's moving to Brighton. Another one. With a picture of Tommy in it, Randolph and Minnie Minter while they're on the What's Good podcast. But before I go further, if you're new, feel free to hit subscribe down below. It really does help me out. So obviously, I clicked on it. And this is what it basically brought up. YouTuber Tommy in it announces plans to move to Brighton. Only uploaded two hours ago. I'm just saying I'm very quick on this. But let's read through it because I read through it. With, and there's one definitely big issue there. One thing they got a bit wrong. And the comments. For those who are wondering what the comments of the Argus is like. It's a bit like the Daily Mail. Because it's usually just old people who go on this. But let's read through the article first. Just to see how much they're clickbaiting his name. A popular YouTuber has announced he's moving to Brighton. Tommy in it, real name Tom Simons, has revealed his plans to move to the city next year. Across his YouTube channels, uh, the 17-year-old has gained over 22.4 million subscribers and amassed 1.62 billion views. Tommy in it, originally from Nottingham, rose to fame by producing Minecraft-related videos and live streams. Obviously very true, that's where everyone knows him from. Was that while appearing as a guest on the What's Good podcast with fellow YouTubers Randolph and Mini Minter, so me it says, I'm going to move to Brighton next year. I like Nottingham. I still want to have my office and my room there. I want to have my HQ there. I'm going to do college, get me a little diploma, and then move to Brighton and do some YouTube videos. Of course. like Right now, I believe we have, what is it? It's Wilbur. Um, actually, it says there. We have Wilbur near to you. Jack um, Manifold is coming down. Scott Smage is coming down. I've got PewDiePie, Saffron Barker as well, Afri Days, loads and loads of YouTubes are coming down to Brighton, which is a cool thing. And Tubbo, I believe, from where he's now, it's pretty much not far from the area as well. So it's YouTube Central. Let's see this put. So Tommy's main Twitch, uh, it's going through basically stats here. Tommy's main Twitch streaming channels has reached over 6.4 million followers, making it the most followed Minecraft channel on Twitch, as well as the most followed overall on the platform. The dude is a king. Obviously, yeah. Let's remember there. PewDiePie, Saffron Barker, Zoella, Afri Days lived in Brighton. Uh, other known celebrities known as Joe Weller, Chat Chat Sky, and George Not Found lived in Sussex. So George Not Found, to my knowledge, at least from where it's been announced, lives in London. That's not Sussex. <laughs> London is not Sussex. Because in London is its own bit. If you look at a map and... I'll hopefully bring up a map now. It's literally its own separate entity. But, okay. If they don't know where Sussex goes from. So you go down. Obviously, a nice photo on the down. I think that was from the original video. Uh, that's done quite well. Um, yeah, in August last year, Tommy released a video himself and a group of other Minecraft YouTubers visiting Brighton. In the video, which amassed 31 million views, the content creator goes paddleboarding, plays arcade games, um, on Brian Palace Beer and walks around the city. Yeah, very good. Be I think it's the biggest video Brighton must have, like, of being in Brighton. Are oh, they going to the channel Nut Pig? Uh, right, tell me in it, his main channel on YouTube. Right, here's just there, just trying to fill out some quotes are here. Um, July last year, joined Rob Play Focus, Dreamers to Peer Pong. I don't even know what that word is. Uh, YouTuber Dream, you know, got to drop the dream in if you can. Here's a holds two world records. Damn, they really, really tried to push it out. But that's pretty much what it is. They, they, the title is very... Sounds to, like, rile up some angry people. And that's pretty much what it did. Like, literally... Literally, this is pretty much the comment section. It's still quite a new article, so there's only about four comments here. Um, <laughs> the first one... Sorry, can't take anyone serious who uses in it in any way, shape, or form. Stay north, kid. Get your little diploma and do something useful. 
that is the sign of someone who just hasn't learned YouTube or doesn't understand how the space works. I guess it's still quite a new platform, but come on. Like, everyone knows YouTube is now massive. He's definitely probably one of the top earners on the platform. Like, he's doing a lot. He can do so much with his platform. We've seen Rambi do it with a lot of charity as well. Like, if Tommy wants to do something, he did a lot with the MCC Pride. Like, come on. And stay North Kid. Like, come on. Look. Having YouTubers in the city, it tracks more people down. Because people want to go and meet Tommy, Wilbur, Tubbo. Or wants to meet all these people. And they literally come down. If they know they're going to be in Brighton or if they're doing event, something in Brighton, then people come down, will spend money in the city. Like, it's just a win-win. Like, like, that clearly is a win. The next, just a simple who. I don't understand how you probably missed him, but I guess if you don't watch YouTube or Twitch, you've probably never heard of him in the slightest. Oh, and then the third is just an... Well, I won't recall because it just seems some rubbish. Uh, but cool story, bro. Like, they don't massively care. It just seems a bit... It seems weird to do a whole article based on him. <laughs> yeah, because it's still quite new. There's not many bits posted about it. But I thought that was just a, a nice spice of it all. It just seems a bit odd for a major publication <laughs> to have the clickbait name. And to rather that, especially that May first headline. That, I don't really like that first headline at all. But yeah, if you're new, feel free to hit subscribe down below and like if you enjoyed. But yeah, thank you for watching and see you later.